In this lesson, we will create a workshop activity. First, click Turn Edit and On. Scroll down to the third week of the course. Expand Add an Activity drop down menu. And select Workshop from the options. Enter workshop name as Proposal for Project. Then enter the introduction as The proposal should be submitted for the project to be done in the next semester. This workshop is for submitting synopsis, not more than six to seven pages, and an abstract about the project, like what it achieves or simplifies. In workshop features block check the following. Use examples. This enables the teacher to use example submission. Use peer assessment. This enables you to allot submissions done by students. Scroll down. Under Grading Settings, Grade for Submission represents the maximum grade that can be allowed for any submitted proposal. Change Grade for Submission to 15. Grade for Assessment represents the maximum grade that can be allowed for assessment work allocated to student. Change Grade for Assessment to 10. Grading Strategy. That is, the grades would be allowed based on specific levels and criteria to maintain clarity in grading standards. Change it to Rubric. Now, under Submission Settings set the following. Enter the introduction as Submit Your Work in .pdf format strictly. Scroll down. Expand Maximum File Size drop-down menu and set the maximum allowed file size for the attachment file to 10 MB. Under Assessment Settings, click Show Advanced button to reveal advanced settings for the block. Also, click Show Advanced button for Submission block to reveal advanced settings for Submission block. Under Submission Settings, set Late Submission to Yes. However, you have stated in the introduction that 5 marks would be deducted from Submission grade straight away, in case of late submission. Under Assessment Settings, set the following parameters. In the Instructions for Assessment text box enter, to read the example submission etc. Mode of Example Assessment Using this setting, you can ensure that students first submit their submission, and then only they're able to view or assess the example submissions. This way their submission is not affected by example submission before. Therefore, set it to examples are available after own submission and must be assessed before peer assessment. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save and Display. Once you have saved the activity, you will be taken to the Proposal for Project page that is, Workshop page, where you can make further settings. Now, click on the first uncompleted task that is, Edit Assessment Form, to create the assessment form for grading the assessments. Since we had set the grading strategy to Rubric, now, we are on Rubric page, where we can set different criteria and levels for the Rubric to create the assessment form. In the Description box enter. The thoroughness of the details with diagram and logical explanation with references. In the Level boxes, enter Poor, OK, Good and Excellent, respectively. And set marks for the levels as 0, 1, 3, and 5, respectively. Set the Criteria 2 and Criteria 3 as shown. In Rubric Configuration area, you can change the layout of the rubric. Click Save and Preview to save the rubric and preview it. This is how your assessment form would look like. Now, click on Proposal for Project Workshop to return to the workshop. You can see that the Edit Assessment form has been checked, and only Prepare Example Submissions is pending under Setup Phase. Under Example Submissions click on Add Example Submission. Note the introduction text you have added to instructions for submission text box. Enter the submission name as TV. Enter the submission content as This is the first submission you have to refer to before you're able to assess other students' work. Scroll down. And in the attachment area, click Add button to add an example submission file. In File Picker, click on Upload a File. Navigate to Browse and select tv.pdf file and click open then click load this file click save changes now to provide reference assessment for the students you need to assess the example submission 
To do so, click continue on the present page. Notice the text you entered in the instruction for assessment box while setting up workshop activity. Scroll down. To provide reference grade, select appropriate level of criteria of rubric. And click save and close. Note that we have set the reference grades for the activity. If you wish, you can re-assess the grades. Now all tasks in setup phase are checked and it is complete. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.